Hello, and during this video, I'm going to be giving you a brief overview of InstaBuilder 2.0. I'm going to be showing you how it works, how it looks, along with all the different basic functionality that we can do inside of this plugin. So first of all, once you get it installed, you are going to see that we are here on the dashboard right now, and this is where you can come to pretty much do anything you want. You can come here to check your statistics, as in your visitors. You can see all the different pages that you have created within InstaBuilder 2.0. You can view the stats for those individual pages by clicking on the view stats button here. You can also come here to edit those pages if you like. You can even come here to delete the page, duplicate it, save it as HTML, or even set up a split test variation. Along the top of the dashboard here, you will notice that we have some quick stats. They show you the amount of unpublished pages you have, the amount of published pages, the amount of page views, and the amount of visitors that you have had on your InstaBuilder web pages. Now, to actually dive into the power of the plugin, we can click on New Page here, and you are going to see all the different templates that InstaBuilder comes preloaded with that we can use to build our web pages. All of these templates are fully customizable by you. You can change anything about these templates that you want to change, or you could always create from scratch and start with a blank canvas. At the top here, we have filters that we can apply. We can sort this by sales pages, squeeze pages, launch pages, webinar pages, coming soon pages, or other, and other usually consist of thank you pages and download pages and such. Once we choose a filter here for sales pages, for example, it's going to reload with just the sales pages, and now we can choose a subtype. We can choose text sales pages, video sales pages, hybrid sales pages, or OTO pages. So it really lets us dial down and get exactly what we want. So let me choose a hybrid sales page, for example. You will see that we have all these different templates that we can choose from, and I'm going to choose this one, for example. Just click on Choose, and now it's going to populate for me and load up into my own visual editor. Now from here, we have all kinds of options that we can implement to change the way this looks and feels. First of all, just mousing over any element on this page will allow me to edit it or change it. By simply clicking on it, the video, for example, you are going to notice in the bottom right hand corner of where I clicked, you're going to have a few options. Now, sometimes these options will look a little different, but there's two things that are always going to be here. You're always going to have a little gear symbol that allows you to edit and configure the element that you clicked on. And you are always going to have a trash can symbol that allows you to delete that element. Now, when you click on the gear symbol on the right hand side, you are going to have settings that pop up that correlate with the element that you clicked on. So since I clicked on the video, the options that I receive are the video information. What kind of video do I want to pre-populate there? You can paste a YouTube URL, a Vimeo, or you can embed your own code. At the bottom of your settings, you can always click the hide this panel option to go back to the main screen here. Now, like I said, we can click on any element and change it. If I click on the text here, I can then click on the little pencil symbol and I can type right inside of the visual editor itself. I can delete this text. I can highlight it. I can change the font. I can change the color. I can change anything about this text that I want. I can then click on this button and then I can click on the gear symbol. And like I said, my settings are going to appear on the right hand side that relate to the element that I clicked on. So now I have all these different button options that I can do. I can change the button text, the style of the button. I can change anything about this button that I want to. Okay. I can make it look however I want it to look. We can change the font, the size, the colors, the borders. We can add animations to it if we want to. So no matter what you click on, you can click on the gear symbol and the right hand side is going to populate with settings for that element. Okay. Now, as far as the left hand side, we have elements of our own that you can drag and drop anywhere on the page that you want. Just quickly browsing through here, you can see we have a title element, text, images, videos, countdown timers, opt-in forms, buttons, graphics, questions, HTML code, pretty much anything you can think of. You can just click and drag it and drop it over here. So let's say, for example, if I scroll down here, let's say I wanted to add an image underneath this order now button. So I'm going to come over here to my elements. I'm going to mouse over my image element. I'm going to click and drag it. And as you can see, the little boxes appear. We can drop this anywhere we want. So I'm going to drop it right below the order now button. As you can see, we now have this image element. Now I can just click on it. I can click on the gear symbol and we now have the settings over here on the right hand side to edit this element. 
I can upload my own image, I can browse for images, anything I want. So with InstaBuilder 2.0, it's really simple to create pages using templates or even creating your own custom page by simply just dragging and dropping elements and placing them wherever you want to place them. We do give you the option to set up a split test up here to the top left hand corner. You can split test different variations of your pages and figure out which one is converting the best and track that within your dashboard. By clicking the gear symbol up here at the top right, we can edit our page settings. We can add a notification bar to the top of our web page. We can add a pop-up to our web page. We can add a bottom slider. We can add an exit splash, a welcome gate, or add any scripts or codes to this page that we need to, like analytics or anything like that. And inside the page settings, we can change the SEO settings. We have advanced SEO settings. We can change the page width. We can change the general font and we can change the background by adding colors, images, or even videos in the background. Of course, we also have a save option up here, a publish option, and a preview page to see what your page looks like. So like I said, with Instant Builder, it's very, very easy to customize and change anything you want on any of these templates by simply clicking and dragging your mouse a few times. Changing the color of this button is as simple as going to the gear symbol, going to the colors panel here and changing the button color by simply just dragging your mouse around. All right, it's just that simple and I'm sure you can see how easy and simple it is to build high quality marketing pages with InstaBuilder 2.0.